Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. Uh, this is a book haul for... What? Y'all hear that cricket? That cricket's annoying me. There's nothing I can do about a cricket though. Um, let's see here. What month is this? It is uh, June now, so this would be May's book haul. If I'm wrong, <laughs> y'all let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Anyways, so... I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I might have some surprises for you guys. Cricket! Shut the hell up! Good God. Okay. If y'all can't hear that, I apologize. There is a cricket going ham outside. <laughs> Once again, it's, well, it's 2 o'clock in the morning this time. Not 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm out here in the dark, and this cricket is going to drive me batshit. But we got to get this done because I don't have time to do it later on today. Uh, first book I got for, for a quarter at the library is a Goldfinger. Almost said by James Bond. Goldfinger by Ian Fleming. Um, I have several books by Ian Fleming. I have a collection with three books in it. Thunderball, uh, a collection of short stories that are Bond themed. And then there's uh, another one in there, maybe from Russia with Love, or maybe that's one of the short stories. And then I have another one that is Moonraker that is a standalone. So I have a collection of several of them. But I got this one because if I ever find Casino Royale, I'm going to binge them all. Uh, Ian Fleming was a hell of a writer. I didn't suspect, I didn't expect the writing to be as good as it was when I peeked inside, I think it was Moonraker, um, which I believe is the third Bond book. I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks like, uh, I know a bunch of these are short stories, but Casino Royale, Diamonds Are Forever, Doctor No, For Your Eyes Only, From Russia With Love, Live and Let Die, Moonraker, Thunderball, The Spy Who Loved Me, and On Her Majesty's Secret Service. A lot of those are short stories, or uh, probably novellas or novelettes or whatever. This, uh, this one, Goldfinger, is the, uh, is a full novel. It's kind of like the old, uh... John D. McDonald books. They're only like 200 pages long. Yeah, this is 189 pages. So, there's that one. Next up, we have... Um, I read Star by this author and I absolutely hated it. But everybody that I talked to said, Hey, check out this book. So, I have Yukio Mishima's Confessions of a Mask. I found this for $1.89 on Amazon with free shipping. I've never seen that before, ever. I don't know how they would have sent it. Um, they, I mean, I guess they sent it media mail, but media mail, the cheapest here in the States, is $2.75. So, I, I hope they didn't come out of pocket. Maybe Amazon reimbursed them for it? I don't know, but $1.90, I think it was $1.98. It might have been $1.89, I don't know. Um, with tax and everything, I, can't, I think it came up to exactly, exactly $2. But yeah, uh, that's also a crazy looking... Cover this author uh, committed ceremonial seppuku. Uh, I, I know I probably said that right, but it's when you kill yourself, you fall on your sword kind of deal. Um, anyways, uh, after I actually have no idea. Hang on, here it is. Uh, he seemed at the height of his career and vitality at the age of 45 when, after a demonstration in the public interest, he committed suicide by ceremonial seppuku. This is very interesting. I want to learn more about this author, but only if I end up liking anything that he's done. Um, I, I do find that <laughs> much more interesting than I have any of the descriptions for any of his books. So uh, maybe if there's a biography out there about him, I might end up picking that one up. So we got that. Next up is another Japanese author, which is Ryu Mitakami. This is a gift from my buddy uh, JP T J B Taylor. I always want to say JP. JB Taylor, it's a Haruki Mirikami's, um, no, Ryo, Ryo Mirikami's, uh, audition, which is, uh, I enjoyed the movie, but the movie's a little slow. Um, from what JB says, is it's, uh, quite different from the, the, I think he said that. Quite different from the movie. But, uh, this is, it looks like it was an old library copy, so, um, I'm probably going to read, read the hell out of this thing, since I can't really clean it up, I can't. You know, you, you can't take off these board, these paperbacks when they put that uh, a protective coating on it. There's no getting it off. Um, I've tried. Urgh, she irritates the hell out of me. But, um, but I ain't going to complain about a free book. I just want to know how to get this off because I have so many other books like this that have that. Next up, we have a book that was sent to me for review. I requested 
it for review because I love the uh, love the cover. It's the Night Janitor by T. F. Allen. So this, yeah, I like the cover. I like the cover. I like the cover a lot. It's got the it's got the creepy person in the background. It's got some magic going on down here by the fingers, um, and the uh, the description. I can't I can't think. Uh, probably because it's cricket. Um, but, uh, the, uh, night janitor, uh, Anna Maria Gabor can kill with a whisper and a touch. Her victims never realize she's given them a deadly disease. And then her brother, on top of that, I'm not going to read the whole thing again. I, I did an unboxing of Mail Time for T.F. Allen if you want watch that one or just go check it out on Amazon. Um, but it, brother is like the opposite of her. Uh, she can kill, he can heal. Very interesting concept. Um, I, can, I, I dig it very much. And like I said, that covers something else, y'all. All right, so uh, I want to leave this one for last because I think it's it's my special boy. My special boy. Um, we have this monstrosity. This is a collection of three novels by Dean R. Kuntz. Uh, the Servants of Twilight, Darkfall, and Phantoms. Two of my favorite uh, Dean Kuntz books of all time are Darkfall and Phantoms. So I went ahead and picked this up. Uh, I'd love to have the actual hardcover of those books, but I don't. I don't think I own Phantoms at all anymore. If I did, it was in an old ratty uh, hardcover that I sold as a in part of a collection just to get rid of it because it was old and ratty and I didn't want to read it. So I finally got myself a hard copy. It'll be a while before we get to uh, me and uh, my friend Dealey are doing a uh, complete read through of his reread of his well it's rereads from me but uh, i think it's first time reads for her for some of these i know she had read the mask but uh and i, I i've always preferred physical books over ebooks um i have most of his stuff on ebook also uh and audiobook but this i'm you know it's it's a three book collection so i picked it up i think it was a quarter at the library i got it the same day that i got uh goldfinger so we're gonna put those over there. Next up, I know for a fact these next two were a quarter apiece, so I'm. They were in the same stack as the Dean Arcoons and the Goldfinger, so all of these were a quarter apiece at the library. This is Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. Uh, I almost got this when uh, Crown Publishing was doing their uh, what's it called? Uh, their blogging for books. <laughs> it's funny while I was thinking is like the the chirping noise was was my thought process. Um, if that's annoying, you guys, I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but the, uh, I almost got it from Crown B Blogging for Books. You could only get one, you could, when they were open, you could only get one book at a time. And there was something else, I don't know what it was, but there was something else that I wanted. And then they went out of business, and I never got a chance to get this. So I was super happy to come across this. Uh, I guess Jennifer Egan is a post-modern author. I also have, where you at, where you at, where you at? A uh, friend of mine sent me a visit from the Goon Squad. Uh, actually, I think this was a birthday present from my friend Terry. Terry, was it? I think it was. I think it was. But uh, we got that one. Ah, Shaky, where are you going, bruh? Bruh, Shaky, get back up there. <laughs> shaky, Shaky. Anyways, uh, Man <laughs> Beach by Jennifer Egan. Got this uh, Joker for a quarter, which isn't quite as good as free for a review, but it is uh, It is very, very decent. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Of course it's good. But uh, next is another quarter book. I've read this book already. I like it, but I don't like it as much as uh, The World According to Garp. I like that one just a little bit more. This is my second favorite John Irving novel, uh, Prayer for Owen Meany. And y'all, I got a straight up first edition of a prayer for Owen Meany. If you look here, it is, well, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it says first edition and it has the number line with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's the entire, it's, it, it's, it's a first printing, first, it's a first edition first printing. So I'm super stoked to have this in my collection. Um, I have a st another stack of John Irving stuff. The only other two hardcovers I own is like the, the Alley of Mysteries, whatever that one is, Valley of Mysteries. And there's another one, um, what's it called, uh, Until I Met You, something like that. It's this longest book. It's like 800 pages in hardcover. Bruh, what is you doing? You're a literary novelist. You ain't Stephen King. Ooh, shots fired. Stephen King, a literary novelist? Yeah, he is. Okay, last but certainly not least, this is my baby. 
this 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 my baby my 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 beautiful baby this book is absolutely gorgeous i want to hear thank from anybody in the comment section about how the how the ratings suck or any of these other uh, any of this other shit you know what my tastes are like if everybody else is hating it i'm probably going to end up fucking loving it so we have thomas harris's karimora that's probably not how you pronounce that. Kat, Katim, Katimura? I don't know. Okay, y'all see the gold stuff along here? The Like the, I don't know if you want to call it filigree, but uh, th this is raised and gilded. I mean, it's not actual gold, but it's it's raised and it feels, oh my god, it feels so good. But y'all, y'all, hold up. That ain't it. We, we, gonna, we gonna look at, at this. We gonna look at this. Okay, so here, it's a, it's a sexy, sexy book. All right, it's a sexy book, but then you open it up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, this reminds me of why I wanted to read Jerusalem. That's the back. Uh, why I wanted to read Jerusalem uh, by Alan Moore. Huge disappointment that book was. But uh, I have a ARC over there. I'm glad I got the ARC because I almost spent 35 bucks on a hardcover first edition of that Joker. I ended up hating the book. There's a good book. There's a good 300-page book hidden in that. 1200 page monstrosity uh it's it's the middle book by the way um there's a good three four hundred page novel in there about the nin hag um but uh the whole rest of the book is just him just masturbating all over you just all over his thesaurus that's it, it that's all that's all that book is is just him using as many words as possible to describe the tiniest tiniest detail but we're not talking about alan moore well we were there for a second we're talking about Katimora. mora um, this is a gorgeous book. I don't care if it's bad or not. It is a gorgeous book. Uh, the build of it, the quality of it is fantastic. And for once, hey Max, um, and for once, uh, Amazon sent me a, a copy of a book that is flawless. So I'm happy there's no dings, uh, scratches, nothing like that. There's no, uh, folding in the corner. Sometimes you'll see, like, there will this part of the board will be bent and crumpled up. Again, sorry, Max. Um, my buddy Max, Max Stark, he gets, all the time, he gets crappy deliveries from Amazon, and I feel for him. Okay, now that we've reached the end of the video, those are all the books that I bought for myself or that I was sent for review. Um, the end of the video, we always go through this because this is my favorite part of the video. I want to tell you, I want to hear what you got this month. I want to see if you if you managed to hang out after the fucking cricket. Um, I want to see what you guys got. So if you have videos for your book hauls, please leave your links down in the doobly-doo. Um, and if you don't have videos, then just give me a list I want to see all the books down there that you got. It's some of my favorite content, and I mean this sincerely. Some of my favorite content on YouTube is book hauls, and it's my favorite video of the month that I do, other than maybe the Thursday Theorists. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book haul video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Y'all, no joke, the fucking cricket stopped as soon as as I stop the video. I ain't heard that motherfucker in like, I would say 10 minutes. I'm sitting here editing the video and I'm like, oh, now you wanna shut the hell up.